Breaking news, police are looking for one man this morning after they say he and another person ran from a traffic stop. What's not clear is exactly why they did that. News Channel 5's Sophie nielsen Colding joins us live from the East Police Precinct. Uh, Sophie, they did track down one guy, another one is at large. This was a traffic stop, but it's just suspicious that they tried to run away. Right, and now detectives here at the East Police Precinct are trying to track down that second guy. We're not sure where the chase started. We know it ended here in East Nashville, specifically at uh, some apartments off of Shelby Avenue. Take a look at this video. That kind of shows officers looking around for the guy. They did find the second guy there. They said that they tried to pull over this car. It wouldn't stop, and then these two guys sped off and then got out of the car and started running. One was caught at the apartment complex there, but the other one is still on the run from police this morning working to find out what they were originally being pulled over for and why they may have run from police in the first place and what this guy might be charged with. Also hoping to get a suspect description from police for this second suspect this morning. Live in East Nashville, Sophie Nelson holding News Channel 5. Happening now, a toddler is grazed by a bullet in North Nashville and police are looking for the suspect. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy is closely tracking this case. Police at this hour are searching for that toddler's father accused of pulling the trigger last night during an argument with the toddler's mother's current boyfriend. Let me break this down for you. It happened over on 26th Avenue North about 830 last night when police arrived. The toddler's mother told them that her ex-boyfriend and the father of the child came over to exchange custody of their child. During that exchange, there was an argument between the current boyfriend and the ex. The ex apparently pulled out a gun, fired a shot at the current boyfriend, but the bullet missed and instead struck the small child. Uh, the toddler was taken to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital, listed with non-life-threatening injuries. This is thankfully a minor wound on the child, but still the search for the father at this hour continues. Reporting in North Nashville, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. A new development in the sexual assault lawsuit brought against a mid-state school. Brentwood Academy was sued back in August after the school allegedly failed to prevent and respond to the repeated sexual assaults of a young man by fellow students in a locker room. Now, according to the Tennessean, that lawsuit has been withdrawn. One of the attorneys said they withdrew because they felt the court was forcing protected information to be given to the defendants in that case. Three men are now charged with the death of a teenage hero. 15-year-old Xavion Dobson from Knoxville was killed while shielding others from gunfire. Now, Christopher Bassett was found guilty of first-degree murder, while a, kid, a jury ruled that Kipling Colbert and Richard Wilson were guilty, Williams rather, were guilty of facilitation of murder. Dobson, a high school football player, was on a back porch with friends on December 17, 2015. When that shooting happened, the teen's decision to protect his friends was later praised by many, including then-President Barack Obama. A judge has given Holly Bobo murder suspect Dylan Adams an ultimatum, he, his attorneys and the prosecution, in fact, to all make a deal or they're going to be going for sure to trial. After several hours of discussion about a plea deal, the judge decided to continue the hearing for 10 a.m. Monday to give both the state and Adams attorneys time to negotiate. Sources say a plea deal, well, what would it look like? Maybe 15 to 20 years in prison with parole. Could be up to life without parole. Dylan's brother, Zach, you'll remember, was convicted of kidnapping, rape, and murder in September. He'll spend the rest of his life in prison. New this morning, one person is charged after a high-speed chase ends just across state lines. Smoky Barn News posted the pictures last night. It started in Logan County, Kentucky, and ended just outside of Springfield, right here in Middle Tennessee. The crash happened on Highway 431. The suspect then tried to run, but was arrested and taken back to Kentucky. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Happening today, it's the third of seven shows for Garth Brooks right at the Bridgestone Arena. It's going to be tonight. We want to let you know that Toys for Tots will be there at all of the shows collecting. You can bring new unwrapped toys, books, and even bikes. They'll be distributed to kids in the mid-state for Christmas. And it goes without saying that they're asking you not to bring anything that could be construed or possibly be a weapon.